Hey guys and welcome to this video on the basics of motion. In this video we're wanting to achieve three key things. The first is to understand the four key parts that make up motion. Secondly we want to know the symbols for these four key parts and thirdly what are the units for these four key parts. But before we get into that stuff we want to talk a little bit about what motion is in the first place and it's reasonably simple. It's just about going from A to B. So an example is a car racing around a racetrack. From where it starts to where it finishes, this is talking about motion. And motion can be described in four different ways. The first is time, so how long has the car been driving for? The second is distance, so we might be talking about how far the car has gone around the track. The third is speed, so how fast or how slow is the car moving? And the fourth is acceleration, and that's the change in speed. So a car might come around a corner nice and slow, and then speed up down the final stretch. This is an example of acceleration. And for each of these key concepts, they are represented by a symbol. And these symbols are really important because they're used in all the motion physics formulas to relate the concepts together. For example, a small t stands for time, the small d stands for distance, v stands for speed, and a for acceleration. And these are important, like I said, because they go in formulas like this one here. So in a physics test, you'll be given these formulas, but they're absolutely useless if you don't know what the letters mean. From the last slide, you'll know that D stands for distance and T stands for time, while speed is represented by a V. So this question, a race car travels 300 meters in 10 seconds, what is its speed? Goes from being a very hard question to a very easy question. All you need to do is put the numbers in place of the letters and you end up with this. V, which is the speed, equals 300, divided by 10, and that's what this line here means, means divided by 10, and we get an answer of 30. So this question would have been impossible without knowing the symbols, but because you know them, it's really easy. But 30 isn't the complete answer. If we look at V, which is speed, and say it has a speed of 30, what does that actually mean? Does it mean 30 miles per hour? Does it mean that the car's wheels were spinning 30 times a minute? Does it mean kilometers per hour? Well, we don't know from this answer. And physicists have had this problem in the past. So what they've done is standardize the units. And in simple terms, what that means is that they always measure the unit in the same value. So time, for example, is always measured in seconds. Distance is always measured in meters. Speed is always measured in meters per second. And acceleration is always measured in meters per second squared. And if you're not familiar with these last two, don't stress about them too much, you just need to know the unit. So knowing what we've just covered, if we have a car going down the final stretch, and we've said it's gone a distance of 1000 with a speed of 30, we can actually work out what that means. So instead of going 1000, it's gone 1000 meters. And instead of its speed being 30, its speed is 30 meters per second. So units are absolutely vital. One other thing though, is that physicists are quite lazy. So they'll often use shorthand to represent what they're showing. So this one here, distance, can be said as the letter D, and a thousand meters has been simplified to M, but they mean exactly the same thing. So distance equals a thousand meters and D equals a thousand M are exactly the same. Similarly, speed of 30 meters per second can be written like this, V equals 30, m s to the minus one. And the minus one here simply means per. So it's meters per second. So back to our formula example from before, let's fully answer the question. A race car travels 300 meters in 10 seconds. Was it speed? What's well, the same equation as before, except instead of 30, we know that's speed. So it's 30 m s to the minus one or 30 meters per second. So this is why using units, and knowing symbols is really important. So what do you need to know from this video? Well, you need to know there are four main concepts that make up motion, time, distance, speed, and acceleration. You need to know their symbols because this is how they appear in physics equations. So time is shown by a T, distance by a D, speed by V, and acceleration by A. And lastly, you need to know the units that they are always used in. So time is in seconds, distance in meters, speed in meters per second and acceleration in meters per second squared. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.